Hello! Sergio Hi. and I are here to talk about cartoons. Yeah. What cartoons are we talking about, Sergio? You have a list, right? Yeah. Hold up. I need to get my laptop working. Um, loading. All right. Today, when we do the list, I will also be attempting the Johto Elite Four. But I guess since there's an Arceus Altar Blessing, we will train until that is over because... That's really helpful, and I need to level up my Pokemon quite a bit. <laughs> okay, you are uh, under level? Yeah, always. I'm just going to level up Gyarados to level 60, because, like, Gyarados is really all you need for it. Mm. This was my first playthrough for Johto, too. It was pretty fun. Like, Johto and... Sinnoh are the only regions I've never played through, and Sinnoh's my favorite, one of my two favorite regions, and then Johto's like one of my favorites. Mm. It, but it was surprisingly easy because I beat all of the gyms yesterday. D did you watch the video I posted yesterday, Sergio? No. Oh, sad. <laughs> Cancel him, people. Hashtag Sergio's canceled. Trending on Twitter. Do it now. Why am I gonna watch a video I was in? Good point. Good point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Augers. You know what? Let's attempt the Elite Four now. And probably fail. <laughs> oh, thanks for the Pokeball, Garveler. What do you give A Pokeball. Any of the clan members on? Oh, a lot of the clan members are on. Let's see if anyone's typing. What's up, boys? Recording. Epic video TTYL have a nice day. <laughs> Why would you? Okay. Uh, uh, self promote, Sergio. Self promote. There is another channel. I know. I know. Hmm? All right. Goodbye, clan chat. For now, we will continue with the video. Oh, I started with the wrong Pokemon. Let's go. So, let's see. What shows... And I chose the wrong Pokemon to send out. Oh, it's going great. I can tell. <laughs> um, let's see what shows. Uh, did we talk about Johnny Bravo yesterday? No, we didn't talk about Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo was an interesting story, to be honest. Or not yeah. story, show. Yeah. I can't really remember what happened in the show because it's been so long since I've watched it, though. That's the thing. It was this guy. 
guy just trying to hit on every girl he sees. Oh. Bro, can't can't relate, am I right? <laughs> if you're single, like the video. Oh, wait, I'm not, though. Damn. I can't like the video, guys. This is... Why would you like your own video, though? I don't know. I never do, actually. There are people that do that. I don't. Because I'm cool like that. I'm not cool. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I'm not. Alright. Yeah, so Johnny Bravo, huh? Yeah. What was your opinion on the show? Honestly, I don't know why, but I liked it. <laughs> yeah? I, I watched it a bit. This is like the only thing on after school, so... I thought it was okay. It, it could have been better, to be honest. Like, if we're gonna if we're gonna look at it at like a perspective here, it could have it had the potential to be a good show, but they didn't take that option. Let's be honest. Uh, you know what? <laughs> the original Scooby Doo. I didn't watch that actually. How dare you? Do I, that didn't like watch, the I didn't watch. I didn't like Scooby Doo as a kid. Scooby Doo, Tom and Jerry. I watched Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry was the thing back in the day. Dude, that thing is still. I know. You know I still watch Tom and Jerry. I <laughs> love it so much. <laughs> like, if you do not know how Tom and Jerry is, I, I'm sorry, but how? How do you not know who Tom and Jerry is? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna read off a list of um like the most popular shows, some of the like from old shows. All right, let's get Sergio to read off his list. What you got, Sergio? No, nah, there's a website. It's actually going from like some of the most popular old cartoons. First place, Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Second, Scooby Doo. What's next? Um, this page wants to bug out where it's not letting me scroll anymore. F in the chat for Sergio's internet. All right. No, it's just this tab that's bugging out. Oh. All right. So. Oh, no. The whole laptop is bugging out now. So Tom and Jerry is essentially, you know, itchy, itchy and scratchy from The Simpsons. That's what Tom and Jerry is. The, Tom and Jerry is what inspired Itchy and Scratchy. Now, if you don't know what The Simpsons or Tom and Jerry is, what kind of life do you live? Like, let's be honest here. I, I have to say, though, one of my favorite childhood TV shows is Johnny Test. That's actually on Netflix. I know. Like, I loved Johnny Test. Dude, and I, that, was, that was like one of the best shows ever. I know. I, I couldn't, I don't, I haven't watched it in so long, but I loved it. And it was like one of my favorite shows. I watched it every day. You know. Of course, I don't watch it anymore. But I used to. Dude. Yeah, I don't know what was so good about the show, but it was good. Yeah. His, yeah, I'm not going to say anything else about that show because, you know, that that that's one of the shows that it, it it's kind of a tough subject to talk about. Because of how controversial it got at one point. <laughs> What do you mean? Uh, I'll talk to you about it later. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. What other shows did we have during our childhood? Mm, Flintstones. That was before our time, Sergio. That was before our time. Mm, I, I used to watch it a lot. It aired, but it stopped like showing episodes before our time. 
Yeah, they still make it show. I mean, episodes. All right, Johnny Test will give it a ranking out of ten. It'll be I'd give it a eight out of ten. Um, what other shows did we talk about? Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is an easy ten out of ten. Um. Hmm. What else do we talk about? SpongeBob. We could talk about SpongeBob. We did that yesterday. Did we really? We're going more into depth about Spongebob. Spongebob is one of the best cartoons, and it's still going. It's on season 30. Sergio, what? I think so. look up what season Spongebob's on right now. As Sergio looks this up, here's a brief message from our sponsor, me. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. In the 30s. 30s. Yeah. yeah um, with me sponsoring this video, um, I, I, I would, I would like to tell you that I would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Um, I, if you haven't subscribed already, I'm pretty sure like a hundred percent of the people who watch my content are already subscribed, which is crazy to think about. But, you know, I'm just that famous, clearly. Yo, dude, we're way off. Wait, no, never mind. What's they, just the... update, they just haven't updated the website. He's not saying anything. Why? The, what? Last time they, the last time they updated the Sponge, whenever you search up Spongebob, the last time they updated it was back in when it was on season 12. Damn. <laughs> How many years ago was that? Like, I don't know. Six? I know, right? SpongeBob. Hmm. My boy SpongeBob was a cool dude. Cool dude. What was your favorite episode? My favorite episode of SpongeBob was with the drawn SpongeBob dude. Doodle Bob. Oh, uh, Doodle Bob. Bob. Yeah, Doodle Bob. What was yours? Yeah, uh, that was one of my favorites, um... Noiny, noiny, noiny. <laughs> um... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I would have to go with that episode as well. Um, let's see, what other shows were there? Hello? Um. Oh, you didn't want, like, big way. <laughs> Maybe The Simpsons? We could talk about The Simpsons. Oh, like, what show? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> the Simpsons. You got the people of the yellow. What is your favorite Simpsons character, Sergio? Bart. Bart. I'd have to say... Hmm. What is mine? I like uh, Apu, to be honest. Who? Apu. Convenience store clerk. Oh. Yeah. He was a good character. He was pretty funny, too, at some points. The clown and, um, what is it called? Krusty the Clown. Yeah, Krusty the Clown reminds me of uh, Ronald McDonald. <laughs> so true, so true. Um, what was your favorite Simpsons episode? Do you remember when Ronald McDonald was a thing? I'm glad he's not anymore. I'm glad he's not. So what was your favorite Simpsons episode? Forever. Mine was when um, Homer kicked some kicked um, I forget what president it is. He he kicked one, some president's ass in a fight because yeah, they had issues. Yeah, I 
That was my favorite episode. One thing is, how do they always, like, somehow predict the future? Let's see. The creator of The Simpsons was a time traveler. He well, traveled to the future. He traveled to the future, and he saw everything, so he decided to write the story about it, so he seemed like some cool dude that could predict time. No, it, it wasn't like that. He just, like... I'm pretty sure he did it... Jo- I'm pretty sure the Donald Trump one he did jokingly, and then it actually happened, and he was like... Yeah. Here's the thing, he even got the year. Yeah. Did he protect did he protect Kanye West was running for president? I don't think so. You remember <laughs> No. You remember when that one person that was run, was running for president and their name was D's Nuts? No. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. I can't remember. It was when Donald Trump was running for president, I think. It, or Donald Trump or Obama when they were running for president. And their person, their name was D's Nuts. <laughs> president D's Nuts. Imagine. <sighs> and they got, like, a good amount of votes, too. Um, all the people that just turned 18. Yep. <laughs> Anyways. What, uh, I, Simpsons. I rank it 9 out of 10. How about you, Sergio? What do you rank it? Um, gonna go with, like, an 8 out of 10. 8? Alright. Oh, that scared me. Uh, ha, ha. An eight out of ten. Don't do that again, please. Uh, ha, ha. No, please, like, stop. <laughs> Lily does that. Slippers? Yeah, Slippers. Slippers deserves their own TV show. <laughs> oh, she was wearing Slippers the other day. <laughs> Anyways. Um, let's see. What's another cartoon? You know what? Let's get Slippers in the call. Let's ask her what her favorite cartoon was. She don't watch cartoons. Damn. Or anything. TV? The, the last TV show I know that she watched was like Yo Gabba Gabba from like 10 years ago. Alright, let's get her to explain Yo Gabba Gabba to us. No, I'm good. Damn. Alright. Um, I never watched Yo Gabba Gabba, Gabba to be honest. I watched Drake and Do- Josh. I watched a bit of that. I love that show. I watched uh, Lab Rat. I watched that too. I watched Lab Rat from Taking It, uh, Mighty Med. Yeah, I watched a lot of those shows. Mm-hmm. Power Rangers. Power Rangers was amazing. Don't watch the new Power Rangers or Teenage Mutant Turtles. Just don't. They made a new Teenage Mutant Yeah, don't watch it. Mm. All right. Um, TV show. What's a good TV show? The Office. The Office is. Have you even started it? <laughs> Damn you! I've been telling Sergio to start The Office for like years now, and he still hasn't watched it. The Office. Is one of the best shows. It's a mockumentary about these people that are working in an office and it's just regular actors because a mockumentary is where they get actors and create a fake documentary. That's pretty much all it is. Anyways, so what they do is they make these episodes and it's about prank. It's pretty much just pranks and jokes and like workers at an office, you know? It, it's a very funny show, and it has a surprisingly pretty huge community day. Commun- not community day. Community. You've been playing too much Pokemon there? Yeah, yeah, just a bit. 
My chop community day, by the way. My chop community day is coming up soon. Um, what is it called? Uh, the Flash. The Flash. I never finished The Flash. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I started watching Gotham. All right, Sergio, give give us your summary on Gotham and The Flash, and then give them a ranking. Well, what's its summary? You gotta tell us what it's I'm about. Them first. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna give Gotham a nine out of ten. All right. Now Gotham is a. It's the time before. It's <laughs> before he became Batman. Where the whole in the whole show he's a kid. Mm-hmm. All right. They give up because they can find him. Find, yeah, him. All right. So, it's wasn't, just about the, it's is, just about the isn't, isn't, just wasting a whole bunch of money and stuff. Isn't his parents murderer himself? No. I thought Batman killed his parents. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened in the comics, Sergio. Batman oh, killed his own parents. I don't know about the comics, but I'm actually talking about, like, shows. I'm pretty sure Batman killed his own parents in the comics. And, like... How would he kill his parents, though? Come, kid. go back to time. Go back through time and kill his parents. Anyways, summary of the Flash. Flash is um, Flash is a person that gets powers after he gets zapped by lightning. He he's in a coma. Yeah. He's in a coma for nine months. And wakes up. Um, we're talking about the TV show. <laughs> all right. Uh. All right. I'll give a summary of the Flash TV show. All right. The Flash TV show. A big speedy man with superpowers gets put into a coma. Um, after that, he um, he gets in a coma. He's a detective for Not a detective, um, or no, a CCPD. Uh, forensic scientist. Yeah, forensic scientist for the police. Um, and then. He, freak. How long do I have to wait? Hold up. Mm -hmm. Nine minutes. All right. Um, and then he is. What's it called? He gets married at one point. He gets rid of all these evil speedsters. How do we go from uh? How do we get to go from season one to season ten? No <laughs> five. He he um he gets rid of all these evil speedsters like Zoom and the Reverse Flash, and then there's also Kid Flash in it, um, and then there's also like Vibe and you know what Vibe was Killer Frost, like one of my favorite characters. Killer Frost was in it. Who else was in it? She's an interesting character to me. Yeah, I liked her character to be honest. Yeah, that that's pretty much the Flash. <laughs> well, what the heck? Why do so many people use roles laughing at the same time? Sergio, I have a present. I don't. But I sent you like ten yesterday. I sent you one. Oh yes, I got a mushroom. Pog. Sergio, where are you on the map right now? I'm in Lavender Town. I'm in Kanto. Hmm. I am in the Indigo Park. Lavender Town? Yeah. No. Common misconception that there is a gym there, but no, there isn't a gym there. 
I always used to think that Sabrina's gym was in Lavender Town. I don't know why. There should have been a gym in Lavender Town, to be honest. A ghost type? Yeah. I'm never cold. Neither am I, but today I am. That's a story for another time, people. I will... Maybe oh, next... Yeah, I forgot about that story. Next time I'll tell you the story why I, why I am never cold. Anyways. Hmm, let's rate the original... The Pokemon animes. All of them. Even the non-ones with Ash Ketchum. No, well, we'll just do the regular ones and Pokemon Origins, because Pokemon Origins was pretty good. All right, we will start with Pokemon Origins. Pokemon Origins. Um, it's based on Red and a bunch of other, like, main protagonists for every region, and they go through all the regions and all that. And pretty much it's just a bunch of stuff on it. You know that one epic video where Red fights Mewtwo with his Mega Charizard X? Oh, yeah? That's what's Pokemon from Pokemon Origins. Oh. Pokemon Origin is, is if you put it on the spectral Pokemon timeline, it's its own timeline from um, the non-Mega timeline and the Mega timeline. I'm pretty sure it's categorized as its own timeline. Are we going to talk about how Arceus um, created a whole universe? Actually, he created... Three, technically. Maybe four. Depends what you put Let's Go in. Mm. We'll talk about Arceus lore another time. Because that, that could make an entire video right there. Alright, anyways. Original Pokemon anime. Ash Ketchum starts his journey. He goes... Uh, that's Indigo League, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, forever. I watched a while ago again. All right. Anyways, Ash Ketchum starts his journey from Pallet Town. He is late. He misses all of the chances to get a starter, so he gets Pikachu, the notorious main Pokemon of the franchise. Pikachu that doesn't like him very much, and. Then Ash saves Pikachu's life. Him and Pikachu become friends. Can we talk about how Professor Oak has a Mega Gengar that's level 300? Wait, what? I just went to fight Professor Oak fight Professor Oak because I'm bored and his Mega Gengar is level 300. Good luck with that. Thanks, I appreciate it. Anyways. Charizard. I have a level 60 Charizard. Well, yeah, but you're like four regions ahead of me. I'm only one region ahead of you. How are you only one region ahead of me? I'm in Johto. Mm. I'm about to do the Pokemon League for Johto. We've gone over this multiple times today. You have a level 300 Mega Rayquaza. Of course you do. Of course you do, Professor Oak. Good luck with that. Um, what other cartoons do you have? Oh, we haven't done all the Pokemon animes. Um, in summary, the original Pokemon anime is a 10 out of 10. Um, let's go to Johto Journeys. Johto Journeys. Ash travels through Johto. Um, makes friends. Gets rid of a Beedrill for no reason. Like, legit, he could have had a Beedrill and he could have been cool. But no, he had to get rid of his Beedrill. And Beedrill is, like, a very good Pokemon. Um, gets rid of his Larvitar. He could have kept the Larvitar, but no. Um, even though. Have a tiny one in Pokemon, uh, nice flex. Nice flex. What the heck? Why 
Why am I all the way back at Route 7? Anyways, um, he gets the Larvitar, he gets rid of it to send it back to his mother. Um, he still hasn't gone back for Pidgeot. We should have covered Orange Islands. We'll cover Orange Islands after this. Anyways, he does all of that. Um, he goes to the Pokemon League. He fights um, Gary, his main rival. Gary and him have this, like, Pokeball that's smashed together. He, Why is this guy selling a Pikachu for 25k? I don't know. He, he beats Gary. Gary goes to Sinnoh and isn't seen till the Sinnoh anime. And... That is... Isn't Gary off the blue? Yes, technically. Alright, Orange Islands. Orange Islands. Ash travels to the Orange Islands. He does all four gyms. This is where he meets Trace, Professor Zoke's current assistant. I don't even know if he's assistant. He's assistants with them anymore. Um, he becomes the champion of the Orange Islands. I'm in uh, Cerulean, god dang. There's a casino in this game? Yeah. You're in Celadon. Oh, Celadon. What the heck? How do you think I don't have a lot of money? <laughs> I just played once. Once you play once, you never go back. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much all that happens yeah, in the here, right now? No, not until after you beat Koga. Why? How in the world do I get to the gym then? What do you mean? Let's open the map. There's a fence. I can't get to the gym. Cel you're in Celadon? Yeah. Well, where are you going? Left or right? What do you mean? Open your map. Alright, and then just keep going until you get to Route 17 and go down the cycling road. Oh my god, what? what's with all these bikers? You enjoy that. <laughs> and then you go down Route 18 to Fuchsia and fight Koga. The Safari Zone's there too, make sure you have $20,000 because you need to go to the Safari Zone to get to Surf. I have 50 k Alright, good. Anyways, yeah, Orange Islands is an okay. Orange Islands is okay. Um, let's talk about Hoenn, Pokemon Advanced. Um, Ash starts over this time. He doesn't. He only brings. I think he brings Pikachu and Bulbasaur with him. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. Anyways, he does this. He um makes friends with May. He meets up with Brock again because Brock left. But like, you know. Anyways, he meets May and her brother Max. This is when a lot of the movies came out, so it was mostly about stuff. May Max had his own movie at one point. I think you no, know, he has Max has his own movie about Jirachi. Because he bonded with Jirachi, and then I think he said he would come back for Jirachi and catch Jirachi. Um, Ash beat a Darkrai and a Latios. I'm pretty sure Sceptile beat Darkrai and was the only Pokemon to beat Darkrai, unless he beat Latios, and he was the only Pokemon to beat Latios. I can't remember. Um, he gets invited to be one of the top tier trainers of the Battle Frontier, but he declines. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah, I didn't go to bed till like 1 a.m. <laughs> I went to bed at 3. I just watched a baby, Sergio. <laughs> Anyways, um, he does all of that, and then... Yeah. Um, let's see, what else did he do in this region? May was a Condor person, whatever that's called. Who was May again? Why did he just blink? Oh my god. Hoenn. Think of Hoenn. That's the 
region with uh, Torchic as a starter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Damn it, Sergio. Literally my favorite region, and I completely forgot. And you're on, and you just said this on a Pokemon YouTuber's channel. You'll be fine. You're gonna get canceled. <laughs> Cancel Sergio Part 2. Get it trending on Twitter. Hashtag Cancel Sergio. Literally set up another day, too. Uh, um, damn, what's your Twitter, too? I can make it your Twitter. I can do it your Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> cancel him, everyone. I want him canceled. Um, yeah. We talked about cartoons. Let's see how long we've been talking about cartoons. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. Well, we've been talking about cartoons and TV shows for like almost 40 minutes. So I'll do all the rest of the Pokemon animes and then I will end the video. Um, Sinnoh anime. Ash travels to Sinnoh. He meets Brock again, meets Dawn with her Piplup. Her, she tries to catch Ash's Pikachu. Um, but fails miserably. And then, yeah, um, he goes to the Pokemon League. He, there's this dickhead Paul. That's pretty much about it for that anime. And then the Unova anime, the anime that most people hate, including myself, because of how it was made. It could have been a way better anime. Anyways, um, Ash. I don't even think I've watched the Unova. Good for you. All right, anyways. Anyways, Ash um, has an absurd amount of Pokemon, so you can never remember what Pokemon he has. Um, he does the Pokemon League. That's He has Iris. He finally doesn't see Brock, which is kind of sad, to be honest. Like, Brock was kind of the homie. <sighs> oh, this golem's going to mess up my team. Um, yeah, that's pretty much probably all that happened in that anime. Silan and Iris. Iris was a biatch. Yeah. That's all that really happened in that anime. Um, next anime, Kalos. The thing that made up for all of the downsides of any Pokemon anime. Kalos was the best anime. Not really even an anime, to be honest. Or wait, the Pokemon... The Kalos was the thing that made the Pokemon anime a Pokemon anime, in my opinion. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, that's... A Lola anime, we're not going to talk about that because of how bad it is. Garbage. Uh, garbage anime. Pokemon Journeys, a great anime so far. I can't wait to see what they do with it. Yeah. Alright, anyways. Hey, um, I'm going to go. Okay, um, bye Sergio. Bye. That's the end of this video. Have a wonderful day, all of you. Um, I'm going to beat the Pokemon League. Hopefully, if I don't, you'll see it in the next video. I don't know how long this will take. Last time, it took me four days. Maybe. Ho hopefully, it doesn't take this long. Oh, God. We're Arctic and a world boss is back. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Um, join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Um, subscribe to Sergio. He's been great the past two videos. I'm glad he's been able to join us. Yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye!